In the Florido desert of northern Chile, the search is on for a treasure that's fallen from the sky. Last month, a large meteorite of approximately four kilos was caught on camera as it entered the atmosphere, landing in the desert. The news attracted astronomers, geologists and treasure hunters from the world over. Knowing exactly when it fell is a major discovery because we can determine the conditions under which it arrived fresh without terrestrial alteration. After more than a month, most European and Chilean scientists ran out of time and money and abandoned the search. This is about as close as you can get to looking for a needle in a haystack, except that there is no hay here, rather enormous cactuses with incredibly long and sharp thorns, lots of loose rocks, which makes all this rather dangerous. Now, scientists estimate that the meteorite fell somewhere within a six square kilometer area from where we are right now. They've only been able to search about 20% of it, so there's still a long way to go. But geologist Samantha Aravena and meteorite hunter Jorge Monsalve aren't giving up. This expedition has a rare thing, a scientist and myself a meteorite hunter joining forces. And I've learned a lot. They've taught me not to use magnets that could alter certain properties of the meteorite. Meteorite hunters, as they call themselves, are collectionists or treasure hunters who buy and sell pieces of different planets, asteroids or meteoroids. The majority dissolve on their entrance to Earth, but not all. We're always searching for where we come from, so it's part of knowing our territory. The solar system is part of our territory. Meteorites that fall in a dry desert are particularly sought after because they degrade very slowly, providing pristine information about the composition and origin of our planetary system. Monsalve runs a small meteorite museum in La Serena. He's asking the government to regulate meteorites so that foreign scientists and collectors can't just help themselves and take them out of the country. Meanwhile, the search for the precious treasure continues in the Chilean desert. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Florido Desert, Chile. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.